Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to make some shorts, or more like decorating shorts. These DIY are super inexpensive and require no sewing, but depending on which style you're making, they will create some noxious fumes, and you'll see why. So first of all, you'll need some shorts, or if you have some old jeans laying around, just gather all of them out and then cut them into your desired length. So for the first style we're going to make, I'm just going to call this the butt stud pocket shorts. That's cool, right? <laughs> so first of all, you need to pick out which pocket you want to have the studs on, and you want to take a seam ripper, or at least that's what Google gave me, <laughs> and, and then you just want to detach half of your pocket. You just pull off the thread from your pocket until you reach the bottom. And after you've reached the bottom, you want to take some brads or some stud. And basically brads are like this and they come in a lot of different sizes and shape. And on the back, you will have these little like legs, I guess. So using your brads, you're going to puncture some holes onto your shorts. After you've punctured a hole, you want to flip your jeans inside out or, or your shorts inside out. And you're just going to what I like to call split the legs um, and just basically secure the brad onto it. Okay, so if you're going to do this one by one, it's going to take so long. So I like to just stick the brads all at one time and then flip the shorts and then split the legs. Um, I just find that this way is a little bit more convenient. So it saves me the hassle from flipping the shorts inside out like over and over again. Okay, so when you're done splitting all the legs, you're almost done, trust me. If you don't want your panties getting hooked onto the legs, or you don't want to scratch your butt, <laughs> then take a piece of scratch fabric. I'm just using the fabric that I cut from earlier, and you just want to cut them into the shape of your studs. And then you're going to take the magic liquid, aka fabric glue, and you just want to spread that all over your scratch fabric. And then just place that scratch fabric over the brads. Don't forget to apply the glue onto the corners as well. Take your fabric glue again and just basically place this onto that triangle section so that the studs will show. And to make sure that the glue will stay intact with the shorts, you're going to place a heavy object. I'm just using my amazing, awesome chemistry book. <laughs> and there you have it, your super easy and inexpensive butt stud shorts. Moving on to the next one, I like to call this the yin yang yang shorts because they're basically yin yang yang. So first of all, you want to you want to get a bucket of bleach, just mix it with a ratio of 1 to 1. Dip half of your shorts into the bleach solution. I left mine for about half an hour. I cannot guarantee results. And as you can see from the shorts, they are not bleached evenly. You know, overall, I still like the results of these shorts. Okay, moving on to the next one, which are the gradient shorts. And yes, in case you guys are wondering, I was filming in Target. Uh, whatever, right? So you basically want to prepare a bucket full of warm or lukewarm water and then add a little bit of bleach. So the ratio I used was probably one part bleach and 15 part water. Dip three quarters of your shorts into that solution and leave it on for about 20 minutes, checking pretty frequently. And you can definitely adjust the ratio depending on how fast you want your shorts to be. But never directly dip your shorts into pure bleach. It's really strong and your quality of your jeans will be really bad. To avoid getting those awkward lines, you shake your shorts like once in a while. After you have something like this, move your shorts about halfway and then leave it onto the bleach solution for another half an hour. You can definitely add a little bit of bleach. That's what I did to my solution. And again, make sure to always shake it or move it around every like 10 minutes or so. And after that, dip about like a quarter of your shorts into a very strong bleached solution. And after that, just make sure you rinse and wash and let this dry. And there you have it, your gradient shorts. Okay, moving on to our last and final design, which are the tribal shorts. So first of all, you'll need to get a pair of shorts, obviously, and just get a solution. And my solution was about one to one bleach and water. Because I was running out of bleach, I was using this cheaper method instead of dipping the whole entire shorts into a bucket. If you have a spray bottle, go ahead and use it, or if you have a paintbrush, go ahead and use it. 
make sure that your shorts are soaking wet and I purposely left that waist part unbleached because I like that kind of effect but obviously if you want you can definitely go for the whole entire shorts being bleached. So after a while I transfer that bleach solution into a bucket like this leaving again that waist part unbleached. After that I just wash, rinse, dry it and there you can start painting or drawing your tribal print. When I was doing this, I was actually googling up tribal prints online. Sketch out your design first with pencil and then taking your sharpie and yes, I'm using sharpie and I use black but feel free to use colorful ones if you want and then I just outline them and I just fold them in. When you're doing this, it's going to take you quite a long time. Make sure to play some music, watch something or you can be like me and sing a song. And yes, I totally have to fast forward. You guys will be wasting half an hour of your life watching me color. And after you are done painting and coloring or drawing whatsoever, you are basically done. There you have it, four super simple, inexpensive, and non-sewing shorts. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Let me know which one is your favorite. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye guys!